Hi everybody welcome back to my channel and happy Tuesday uh, today's a craft day today's a wreath day I'm just giving the intro upstairs here because it's really warm down where I'm going to be working on the wreath and you'll probably hear my fan going a couple of times I try to remember to shut it off but I usually forget it so you probably hear the fan going at some point in time um, today we're going to be working on a little wreath, a mini wreath. I'm using a 10 inch frame and I'm using Dollar Tree mesh. I finally was able to find some. And I'm going to be using the ruffle method to make a candle ring for uh, my baker's rack. And uh, then I'm going to try to put a few ribbons on it. We'll see how that works out. But in the meantime, we're going to have fun making ruffles for the ring. Um, I'm going to cut the mesh, I believe, to 18 inches. It's very ravelly mesh, so the less cuts you make, the better off you are. So instead of making three six-inch cuts to make three little ruffles, I'm going to make one ruffle at one 18-inch cut, and that's, that's only two ends then to ravel. And it doesn't really show too much when you puff up your ruffles most of the time, but we'll see. So before I wander off of the mouth for the next 10 minutes, <laughs> I'm just going to say I'll be back in just a couple of minutes down in the wreath room and we'll put together a mini wreath with Dollar Tree mesh. See you in just a bit. Okay, here we are down at the desk and I'm going to try to get more of the here we go here um, I'm going to use a 10 inch frame and this is the mesh that I'm using it's the red white and blue now normally with this Dollar Tree mesh you would cut them about six inches because it's six inches wide and so you'd make um, a, a square but it would take three of each one to make a nice ruffle or rolls. I'm going to do ruffles today. And so what I did is I just did three times the six inches and cut each one of these 18 inches. And so we're going to ruffle these. And I have no idea how many it's going to take. I just figured with uh, using the 18 inches, there's less pieces for fraying because this this uh, phrase very easily and I'm going to take a pipe cleaner and go around and then around the middle two wires on this frame And we'll just see what we can see here. And I don't care if the red pipe cleaners show because it's red, white, and blue. <laughs> they really make kind of a squished um, bow tie, don't they? But you know, something like this, using the Dollar Tree mesh, is great for practicing. If you've not done a lot of wreaths before. And I think it will fill in. I started with three rolls that I've cut. And I don't know how many it's going to take. We'll get an idea when we get a section filled up. 
Although with any of it, like any other of these, where you put these on in sections, the more sections you get done, um, you don't fit as many in each section. I think that's going to fill in nicely. And this is plenty big enough because it's a, a little a little candle that goes in the middle of this. And like I do with bubbles, after a while I go back and I just kind of twist it to uh, with some of the others and it kind of holds it tighter. Make the little bow tie, go around it. Give this one good twist and put it on the frame. And I'm pushing down with my thumb as I'm twisting the pipe cleaner on the back. Just gets it tighter. So I guess you'd call this a mini wreath. <laughs> but it's the same process as if you're making a big one. It's looking good. Look at that. I can get a couple more. Sorry, I tend to bring it up by myself. Just one more here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to save that one because I show you what I'm going to do here. I'm at one of the crossbars. So I'm going to make my ruffle. And this time I'm using a full one. And I'm going around the bottom, giving it a twist, and then I'm going to go on both sides of this crossbar here. Get that right over there and give it a couple of good twists and that's because I'm going to try to put bows on the crossbars okay, see so I have some pipe cleaner to use we'll put this one next Do one more section 
and then I will continue off camera and we'll get around. You gotta be a little careful when you're doing these because you can go off the center very easily. There we go. And you know, if you find something at the end that's like real ravelly, you can just trim it off. But this is going to sit on a shelf. It's not going to take a lot of wear and tear and moving around. Right up the middle, pulling with your fingers. Excuse my bandaged finger. I mistook my finger for an onion when I was slicing them the other day. And that was not good. Now this, this section is not going to take as many as the other, but I think it's going to take quite a few because it is so thin that it takes quite a bit to make coverage. I think I could put one more in that section and then I'll do the crossbar. I think I cut uh, 21 altogether right now. And I have more I can cut. So we'll see how many I end up using. Now what I'm going to do here, I do this a little bit different. I think it's a little easier. I'm going to put the tie on and I'm going, let me show you. I am on one side of the crossbar here and on the other side of the crossbar here. Okay, I'm going to bring it up even. Give it a good twist and now I'll put my ruffle on a little easier than trying to thread it afterwards. So 
So there you go. We have two sections done. Looks good, huh? I like it. All right, I'm going to continue going around and I'll catch up with you on the other side. Back in a bit. Okay, I got all the way around and I started putting a little bow on here. I don't have enough ribbon to do the way I want to do it, but I'm going to try to do a couple of these. These little bows are so easy to make. You cross it over, it makes it look like one of those <clears throat> uh, breast cancer ribbons. Then you're just going to pull this down in the middle and pinch it together. Come up from the bottom and pinch it together. Okay? I'm going to skip one here and go to this one. And I'm just going to tie it. And I'm going to dovetail the ends of this. I could have dovetailed the ends before I did it, but I didn't know how long I wanted to make it. Okay, so now you have this cute little bow. And now you can take the rest of these and just curl it in. Okay, now I have one, two, three. I'm going to try to put, see, let's see. I'll do that one, yeah. I'll do the other red one here. Again, go cross with them over, okay, push down from the top, and then gather it up from the bottom, and these were cut about 22 inches. go. Oop, seems like Chelsea found me. <laughs> Aren't they cute, those little bows? Now I've got two with the flag and I'm going to do the same thing. Cross them over, okay, cross them over, bend this down, and pinch it up from the bottom and down from the top. I wanted to have <clears throat> all flags, but I didn't have enough ribbon. I did have to cut four more pieces of mesh. So I had to cut into the fourth roll, roll. But you know, I found with this Dollar Tree mesh, <clears throat> there's no telling how much mesh is going to be on a roll. <laughs> Let me go back with this one. And one more over here. 
crisscross. Push it down. And pinch it together from top and bottom. Oh, I'm sorry, I have my fan going. I forgot to shut it off. They make a very cute bow. There you go. Isn't that adorable? I love it. Look at that. Give me one second. I'm going to get the... I forgot to bring the candle down and I'll put it in the middle. So you see how it looks. Be right back. Well, there you go. You can see what it looks like in the dark. I'll turn the light on again in a second. But isn't that pretty? I love it. And you see, it's not too high because this candle isn't too high. It's going to look just perfect. Just perfect. A nice little patriotic touch. So give it a try. It's a 10-inch frame. You can use a 12-inch if you have, have to. Uh, it won't make any difference. It'll be a little bit bigger and it'll take more rolls of mesh. And I cut 18-inch strips and ruffled them up and then I made my bows with 22 inch pieces of ribbon so there you go with the camera focus again <clears throat> all right if you like this please give me a thumbs up I would appreciate it thanks for stopping by today I'm not going to get back on the camera um, Thanks for stopping by. I am excited to have a lot of new subscribers. Thanks for subscribing. And for you guys who have been hanging around for a long time watching me play, thank you so much for being my friend. So today is Tuesday. I'll be back again Friday. I think we're doing a bubble on Friday. So for today, have a great afternoon. Stay safe, play by the rules, wear your face masks, and play nice now. See ya. Bye-bye.